Hi, I'm Gary Beck with PV Insider, the show that makes you the insider on the culinary experiences of Puerto Vallarta. I have visited, lived, and eaten all over Puerto Vallarta for over 30 years, and I have all the inside information. PV Insider with Gary Beck is brought to you by VacationCoupons.com Where savings are just the beginning. Hi, we're at Cafe Darcy's today. We are going to talk to the world famous chef and owner, Thierry Bouet. Let's go inside and see what the chef is cooking up for us today. Hello! Welcome at Cafe de Darty! It's great to have you here tonight. We have a fantastic menu cooking yeah. right now for you. Please follow me. Definitely a place to go for world class dining, and I mean world class. And it's right here in Puerto Vallarta. And keep in mind that uh, Terry said today that his new menu will be coming out the end of October or the first of November. He changes it every year. And this year was very interesting. He talked about how he's going to be doing the basic solid French cuisine with an added pre-Hispanic and Mexican traditional touch. We were looking forward to that. First dish today was ahi tuna tartar. Avocado and tuna tend to go very nicely together because they're very mild and soft. And this was accented with a lime juice to cook the tuna, but just for about no longer than a half an hour. You didn't want to turn it into a ceviche. The flavor was very mild, but it all went together so well. With a little bit of touch of the heat from the pepper and the, the herbs were all fresh. And then the, the slight tanginess of the radish blended with it nicely. And then the strong accent of the mustard. So the, all the flavors went together really well. For the second dish, he took giant sea scallops from Ensenada, which is in Baja, and then put it into what is called pinole. So he took the scallops and he slowly fried them but not for a very long time. And they came out very moist in the center, but cooked through, but not rubbery. And he served it with a tomato compote, which is chopped up tomato very finely and stewed, and served to go with the salt. And then a ramekin served on the side, which he called a type of bouillabaisse. It was a very light broth and poured all over the top. It was a delicious combination dish that he serves as a main course, but we had as an appetizer. Then we moved on to beef. He took uh, tenderloin beef with filet mignon and cooked the medium rare the way I wanted it, seared it on the outside, so herbs and pepper and then sliced very thin like petals. It was just delightful, very tender, and served a beautiful sauce, which is right up my alley, a camembert chipotle sauce. Very light and delicate, and it was underneath the beef. The flavor of the uh, chipotle was very mild. He thinned it down, and it contrasted with the flavor of the beef and let that stand forward because that's what you really do want to taste is the high quality of the beef. He brought out a cheese plate, three different cheeses and three different accompaniments. Uh, it was very unusual, like a mango jelly, basil jelly, different kinds of ideas that you wouldn't normally think of. Nice break to kind of cleanse the palate when you move on to the desserts. 
first dessert was a strawberry paradise. It was like you walking through a field of strawberries, about five different ways, put them all together in a big bowl. The flavor of the strawberry just bounced in your mouth. It was so vibrant and fresh. Not like you can buy in the store. This was like, it just hit you. So it was just a delight if you love strawberries, fresh in season. We finished with what he called a watermelon brick. He had taken a seedless watermelon and made them into a, a long brick and topped it with cream cheese. And he said just a little bit of flour to make it into a kind of a type of cheesecake, but it wasn't a cake at all. And nice to have the, the uh, cheese with the watermelon. I don't think I've ever had that before. But leave it to Terry to try something new. What I like is something you might not know about. If you walk in the door, is the Constantino Bar. And there's a piano there. In the evenings, there's a piano player, uh, a full bar menu of creations of martinis and margaritas and all your other usual drinks, or desserts, too. Also, they uh, have been awarded, once again, the Virtual Verita 2011 best wine list, so you can order up to around 450 different kinds of wines by the glass and bottle. We are honored and blessed today to have one of the top world chefs right here in Puerto Vallarta, Mr. Terry Bruet. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Great to have you here. Tell us about what you've uh, accomplished in uh, the uh, awards. PV Insider with Gary Beck was brought to you by VacationCoupons.com Where savings are just the beginning. For seven years I have published the most in-depth and accurate restaurant guide on Puerto Vallarta called Beck's Best. You can pick up your copy on Amazon Kindle, Nook, or a printed edition on CafePress.com. For more information, contact me at GaryRbeck1 at yahoo.com. Thank you for joining me on PV Insider. Check back for more information on your favorite restaurants in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico.